Hey everybody, Captain Dave. On the last day of our Virginia excursion, um, actually on the last leg of the return trip home here, headed uh, headed down to Cluiston. I uh, just spent a little bit of time at my son's house with my daughter-in-law there. Just had dinner, and now we're we're heading uh, the rest of the way home. And it's I'm, it's always nice to get home, but I'll tell you, it's always also it's always nice to kind of visit new places and and. Um, one of the reasons, I'd never been to Virginia Beach. I'd never been, uh, I've been to Williamsburg, Virginia. I've been to Richmond. I've done a lot of traveling uh, in that area, uh, you know, for historical purposes and to take in the, uh, the historical aspects of that area. Virginia is an incredibly rich place um, with American history and, and, and whatnot. But, but it was pretty cool to be able to just take in the beach and be in the, um, the mid-Atlantic state uh, the water was chilly. The water was about 68, 70 degrees in the ocean, um, and that's that's pretty cold. Uh, you know, uh, it's definitely wetsuit weather. Uh, a lot of surfers. It was kind of neat to see that we had some people fishing from the surf, some surf fishing going on. At one point, there was there was a surf rod at the place there where the where we were staying, and I halfway thought about going and digging up a couple of crabs and and, uh, and throwing them out uh, on a on a kind of a Carolina rig type bait holder rig just hook the crab in the shell on the side and just throw it out there and about two three ounces of weight just pitch it out in the surf one of those big 10 11 foot rods and uh and just see what happens but uh but i never did do that i uh, uh it's just the whole time was pretty well taken up you, you have so much time to do so many things and uh so that left that was left on the back burner did enjoy a lot of the beach though uh, after the wedding at night the beach was awesome i uploaded a little bit of that uh this will be my last. Uh, this will be my last uh, phone vlog here on the trip, and I'm going to be back to business. Uh, I'll be in front of my supercomputer this evening here, and uh, I'll tell you I, I, a couple of things I wanted to just mention to you. First of all, I do have uh, I do have some fishing from the other morning here uh, that I'm going to show you. Uh, I talked about the fishing being uh, pretty darn good on Okeechobee right now, and I, I went out for a couple hours the day I before the day I left but uh, but I never vlogged it I, I have the video and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some of that together for our, for my posting tomorrow um, but uh, I'll also probably get out on the water and do a little bit more fishing tomorrow I do have a guide trip um, um, on Thursday so I'm kind of getting ready for that I'm excited about that I haven't I haven't been in the uh, and wore my guides hat in about uh, about eight or nine days and uh, so it's gonna feel good to do that again and uh, and whatnot, but I'm going to tell you, I have been watching a lot of vlogs since I, uh, when I started this thing. It was just one of those, you know. Rob from Lunkers, he just said, "Man, you just you got to just do it. Just start doing it." And if you can, you know, the idea is if you wait to get things in order and you get this in order and that in order, you just it just won't happen. And so you got to just go. And so that's kind of what I did. Some of my early stuff is, some of it's actually very funny, and I, I hope that if you're a newcomer, um, that you go back and look at some of that stuff. That I was thinking of just funny video, just funny stuff um, here a little earlier, and, and I might even attach as it, at the end. Well, I won't be able to do that to this one because I'm just uploading it from my phone. But on my next, uh, on my next home vlog, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple. I'm gonna start attaching. Say, hey, if you haven't seen this one, you should watch it. Type links at the end of the videos. Um, because there's some really funny stuff. I think back to when Flip and Dale, uh, by the way, Dale and his wife have had their little baby, uh, my first godchild. I'm very excited about that. And, uh, but, uh, but anyway, anyway, uh, when Dale and Shelby were still with us before they moved up to Ohio, uh, we had a dead animal underneath the house. And Dale, bless his heart, had the courage to climb under there and find it. <laughs> It is just such a funny video, and I just I, I was thinking about some of that stuff. And if you haven't seen some of that stuff, it's 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 worth seeing. So I may pin a couple of those up um, because I, I've even watched the progression of, of my videos, and I've watched my I've kind of looked back and I watched a lot of my videos as I was driving and just trying to I, you kind of see yourself evolving, and your footprint starts to evolve a little bit. Now I want to stay as fluid and dynamic, and that's a redundant, I guess, but I want to stay as dynamic as I can. And that I can keep things going. It's not just about fishing, although it's always about fishing. <laughs> uh, but but more often than not, it's it's just about the life of a guide and and what I do every day. Um, and uh, but also the life of a vlogger because I can't I can't I'm a vlogger now. I vlog just I spend just as much time vlogging as I do fishing. 
and it's really cool that I get to vlog while I'm fishing so there's that overlap but there are so many things that I have there's a tremendous photographer and videographer inside of me um, and, and I've, I've got a lot invested in equipment that I just can't wait to take advantage of and uh, when I first started doing this I was so immersed in the fishing part of it because I fished every day all the time and I was so many of you who early on you you remember I, I mean it would be two o'clock in the morning and I'd be uploading and I had to be up in three hours to go fishing there were nights when I didn't go to bed because it would have been harder to wake up and go and it was you know just it was crazy um, and uh, but anyway it that, I'm kind of coming around on that stuff and and uh, but I, I just want you to know that I'm excited about the next couple of months because I really feel like I'm gonna be able to emerge even more as a videographer and a photographer and a cinematographer and a vlogger and uh, and of course the fishing I'm gonna be stretching my fishing legs a little bit because it's not just Lake Okeechobee 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 all the time um, I'm gonna I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be headed north and, and I'm going to be fishing some waters up north and and I can't wait to get you up into Michigan there are some spectacular smallmouth fisheries up there you know I caught the eight pound four ounce smallmouth last year I've, in my lifetime I've caught 30 maybe 50 honestly maybe 50 fish over six pounds I mean it's in, in the in the 20 years that I fished up in these Great Lakes and the fishing is just getting better and better the fisheries that I fished there was a, a the new state record was caught it was over 10 pounds a half half a mile water in a lake about a half a mile from where I caught the 8.4 and released her and so there's just tremendous fish here in these areas in these Great Lakes waters um, and so I'm really excited about sharing that stuff with you but I want to get under the water too I've got all this underwater equipment to use and uh, and I've got I've got the ability to get under the water and stay under the water I've got the, the dive gear to do that and, and, and so I want to get that into the vlogging as well and I just got so many things I want to do and I just have to create a plan and, and, and get at it um, and so anyway I just stick with me I, I promise this is just gonna get better and better I, I and and I would love to have you um, direct me in the in the dynamic nature of this Dave I want to see some more of this or can you do some of that or and what have you let me know when you like something you really when you see something you really like I did a video here not long ago and I got about six comments on how good the audio was and I went back and I'm like oh well that's good <laughs> I went back and I said it was really good and and so then I'm like because sometimes I'm experimenting with things and, and using different combinations of audio equipment and uh, I watched a guy in a vlog yesterday he, who said he said this he, he said audio is so important he said he said most videographers and cinematographers photographer photographers they don't think much about audio audio is the afterthought but all of them who are good at it know how important the audio is and and so I've got a lot of ideas on, on how to record some audio b-roll and, and how to use sound effect, audio sound effects and things like that to improve my videos um, and uh, with the warning label that goes along with it saying that guys when you start to do this it's going to take more time in post-production to put these things together but man is it worth it and I, I, I I'm all for that I I'm completely and totally uh, on board with that whole thing and so and so that that that's 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 kind of some of the stuff that I want to work on and, and work with um, because the audio part of it is is uh, um, is really critical the guy said this this is what he said he said I got a car that's tracking me here right right kind of following me back and forth if you see him behind me or not but uh, he comes up close and he backs off and comes up close I don't know what he's got going but my anyway doesn't matter to me that's but I don't want to create a, 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 a distraction from what I'm saying right now having said all that what's really cool is um, here's what he said he said you can watch a video that maybe isn't the quality isn't great or it's not loading well on your on your phone or something and you can go through YouTube and you can watch the video and you can get through it or maybe it's maybe the lighting's bad but you can kind of get the gist of what's going on and you'll sit through it but man if you turn one on and the audio is just not right it'll drive you nuts you'll shut it off because your your brain can process the visual image but your brain, but the audio image is the thing that your brain first gets after. And if it can't connect to the audio right away, um, then you 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 will shut down. And so it's really important. I I know I know this. I've lost entire stuff that I've done because the audio wasn't right. And and I know that when I started to do it, I'm like, oh, I can't use this. This is this is worthless. You know. So so I'm excited. I've invested in good audio equipment, and I'm and I'm 
really, really wanting to do more and more with it, uh, so that I can, uh, so that I can use it and, and use it to its to its utmost uh, and what have you. So, 